वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्व डैश नाइन सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द इक्वेशन ऑफ इलास्टिक कर फॉर द बीम यूजिंग एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू कोऑर्डिनेट्स ई आई इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ कैंटिलीवर बीम दैट इज हैविंग फिक्स सपोर्ट एट द एंड एंड देर इज अ पॉइंट लोड और कंसनट्रेटेड लोड एट हाफ ऑफ द लेंथ ऑफ दिस बीम क्लियर सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ इलास्टिक कर फॉर दिस एक्स वन एंड फॉर दिस x2 x1 varies from 0 2 till l by 2 where x2 varies from 0 till total length l so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this support fixed support so there will be a reaction force and let this reaction force is above because this is downward and let this is given by and force which is represented as r a and there will be a moment which will be counter clockwise reaction moment and that is m a so we'll find this reaction force and m a so by using equilibrium condition sum of all forces along y direction is equal to 0 we have and taking the upward force as positive so we have R A minus P is equal to zero. So we have uh, this P is equal to R A is equal to P. Okay. Now we will find moment about point A. So for that we will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero. and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point a we have a moment that is ma and that is a clock count clockwise so it will be minus okay so it will be minus ama minus ma and the moment due to this load p into perpendicular distance is l by 2 and that is also minus because it is clockwise so their sum must be equal to 0 so minus p into l by 2 so from here you will get moment at point a is equal to minus p l over 2 so as we have assumed that the moment is <coughs> clockwise so here this is negative so this moment should be m a should be p l over 2 it should be counter clockwise okay so we have this moment m a is this now uh, what we will do is that we will cut the beam at x1 and we will draw the shear force diagram so if you cut it it will be like this here we have r a which is equal to p and we have a moment here that moment is clockwise counter clockwise and this moment m a is p l over 2 and when you cut the beam there will be a shear force v1 vx1 and there will be a reaction moment m 1 x that this is point 1 so we will apply equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point 1 is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about 1 we have one moment is m1x which is uh, counter clockwise so it will be positive the other moment is this clockwise counter clockwise so this ma will be also positive and the other moment is p into perpendicular distance this distance is x1 so i will write it x1 their sum must be equal to 0 so what we will do is that p into x1 and that is minus plus ma which is pl over 2 clear plus m1x is equal to 0 so from here you will get m1 of x is equal to px1 minus pl over 2 so 
so we have moment equation when you cut the beam at a distance of x1 now what we will do is that we will cut the beam at this x2 so you can see that this remaining distance will be equal to l minus x2 and we will take this draw the free body diagram so when you cut this beam this distance is l minus x2 so there will be a shear force v2 of x and there will be a moment that is m2 of x that this is point 2 now sum of all the moment about point 2 is equal to 0 you can see we have only one moment that is m2 of x and there is no other moment so m2 of x is equal to 0 and this is the equation for x2 coordinate now what we will do is we know that we have the equation of slope and deflection that is e i d square v over d x square is equal to moment so for x for x1 coordinate we will having this equation e i d square v1 over dx1 square is equal to m1 of x m1 of x is this one p into x1 minus p l over 2 so integrate it integrate this equation we will get e i into dv1 over dx1 will be equal to px1 square over 2 minus pl over 2 x1 plus c1 so if you divide ei on both sides so you will get dv1 over dx1 will be equal to 1 over ei into px1 square over 2 minus pl x1 over 2 plus c1 let this is your equation number 1 now again integrate it so when you integrate it you will get v1 is equal to 1 over ei into px1 cube over 6 minus p l x1 square over 4 plus c1 x1 plus c2 and let this is equation number 2 now for here for coordinate x2 we we will having this equation e i into d square v2 over dx2 square will be equal to m of m2 of x so this is zero so integrate when you integrate it when you integrate it you will get e i into d v2 over dx2 is equal to c3 now divide e i on both sides so you will get d v2 over dx2 is equal to c3 over ei and let this is equation number 3 that is for slope for x is equal to 2 now integrate this equation number 3 integrate it again so you will get v2 v2 is equal to c3 over c3 x2 we will get c3 x2 plus c4 and this will be multiplied or divided by divided by ei let this is equation number four now we will apply boundary condition so <clears throat> what are the boundary condition because c1 c2 c3 are unknown constant so far by using boundary conditions we will find them so first boundary condition is at x1 is equal to 0 
we have slope which is dv1 dv1 over dx1 will be equal to 0 so put it in equation 1 in 1 so you can see that <coughs> here x1 is equal to 0 so we have slope which is dv1 over dx1 is also equal to 0 okay so <clears throat> you can just put it in this equation so x1 is equal to 0 so this term will be 0 this term will be 0 and dv1 over dx1 will be 0 so this term will be 0 so c1 is equal to 0 so we will get c1 is equal to now another boundary condition is that as x1 is equal to 0 we have v1 which is deflection will be equal to 0 so put it in 1 again i will show you that at x is equal to x1 is equal to 0 we have y1 which is equal to v1 is equal to 0 because this is a fixed support so when you put this x1 is equal to 0 uh okay so we will put it in equation number two sorry so make a correction because this equation two is for deflection so when x is equal to zero we have v1 is equal to zero so this term will be zero this term this term this term will be zero and we will get c2 is also equal to zero now using continuity equation so what is continuity equation or what does it say so using continuity equation it says that at x1 is equal to x2 is equal to l by 2 we have dv1 over dx1 is equal to dv2 over dx2 so let's check that so you can see here that at x is equal to x1 is equal to l by 2 and x2 is also equal to l by 2 here this beam will bend like this it will bend like this sorry it will bend like this so here you will get the slope same because both x1 and x2 are in same direction so dv1 over dx1 will be equal to dv2 over dx2 and also you can see that here deflection v1 is equal to v2 so we will use these two conditions so what is dv1 so dv1 you can see is this equation clear over dx1 and what is dv2 over dx2 this equation so you have to put a x1 r x2 is equal to l by 2 and you have to equate them so we will do that okay so dv1 over x1 is 1 over ei into p over 2 into l by 2 whole square minus p by 2 into l into l by 2 plus c1 is equal to c3 over ei okay so ei ei will cancel c1 is equal to zero so you will be only left with c3 and when you so this will be equal to p by 2 into l by 2 whole square minus PL by 2 into L by 2 is equal to C3. So when you solve this, you will get C3 will be equal to minus PL square or 8. Now you have this C3 as well. So we will use in a, using continuity equation at X1 is equal to X2 is equal to L by 2 we have v1 is equal to v2 so you can see this is the equation of v1 and this is the equation of v2 so after putting 
v1 x1 is equal to l by 2 so we have v1 is 1 over e i into Two whole cube minus p l into p l over four into l by two whole square plus c one x c one is zero so it will be zero plus c two is also zero is equal to v two so v two is c three into x two so c three is minus p l square over eight into l by 2 plus c4 divided by ei so again ei will cancel with this ei and when you solve this you will get c4 will be equal to pl cube over 48 now you have c1 c2 c3 and c4 so put c1 and c2 in equation number 2 that is equation of elastic curve for x1 so when you put it i will write it v1 will be equal to 1 over ei into px1 cube over 6 minus pl x1 square over 4 c1 and c2 are 0 so it will be same so again this will give you if you take uh, p l uh, if you take p common from above n there 12 okay so you will get 12 times ei ei is already there 12 ei so you will left with x1 cube 2x1 cube because when it multiply with this term this will give you the same this one okay minus three times l x one square so this is the equation of elastic curve equation of elastic curve for x one now we will move toward x2 so put v2 put c3 and c4 in equation number 4 so this is equation number 4 so when you put it you will get v2 will be equal to p l square over 48 e i into minus 6 x2 plus l I will also put it for you so v2 is c3 into x2 plus c4 so c3 is minus p l square over 8 c3 into x2 x2 plus c4 c4 is p l cube over 48 multiply by 1 by e so now when you solve this you will get this which is the equation of elastic curve for x2 i will highlight these two equations so this is your equation for v1 and this will be your equation for v2 and this was all about problem 15 uh, 12.9 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching